lot of people seem to fit into a sort of stereotype of like finance guys tend to play a certain way when they're starting out or you know someone who works in a different industry will play a different way and obviously there's always exceptions yes. but that older people when they're just starting out will play overly passive and younger people when they're just starting out sometimes will bluff way too much. Yes, and too aggressive. I think it's important at every stage of your poker career, you know, your, your strategy, your playing style has to be able to change in an instance. Generally, Scandinavian players are more aggressive. A little crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> they, they will fire with A ball. Yeah. <laughs> three streets, four streets. Americans is a mix, you know, you have some very aggressive players. Some very solid players. Most Chinese players, we are not talking about the very good players. We're talking about average amateur players. They still like to see a lot of the flop. One yeah. thing that to me seems pretty unique to China, and so many of the people do it, because Baccarat is so big in China, that people have seven deuce or six three and be like, oh, natural nine, and want to play the hand, even though they're really bad hands. Uh, yes, it's, uh, on rare <laughs> instances, the, the main difference between the Asian and Western players Asian players, especially the Chinese, uh, take more risks, you know, and uh, they are learning curve, meaning the the time taken for them to improve their game to a certain level compared to a Western guy, they will take longer, you know. To me, because most of them are recreational players. It does uh, seem to be a thing more in China that people don't care to get better. Yes. Where the fish in the US or Europe seem to care a little more about getting better. Some of the fish in China yes, yes, seem to just not yes, care as much. Yes. I've seen the Germans, you know, recently they are quite successful in the tournaments, high roller tournaments. Also, even when they they are already very good players, they still work very hard at the game to improve. You know, they take a lot of pains, especially in the, in cash games where you play against familiar places, studying their patterns, your opponent's behavior, trying to get tails and everything. And they, they can even input things into their software or computer, you know. They deserve to be where they are, you know.